Hi, I'm Samantha, and this is the um, subcutaneous and interdermal injection video. So I'm going to come, and before I drop anything, do my hand hygiene. I pull out the drawer of the med card and check my name, William Smith, against my MR, William Smith. And I am going to compare the date of birth to star, 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 to star, 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 star. Okay, so we have the correct drawer with the correct patient. And we need to give two medications. So we're going to give heparin 4,000 units at 0900 so we're going to pull that out of the drawer make sure we have the heparin and we have 10,000 units of heparin per ml here so I would do um, my calculations and my calculations would tell me that I need to give um, 0 0.4 mls of the heparin and we are giving it sub Q to William Smith, check the date of birth again. William has allergies to coating and not giving any coating, so I'm gonna put this in here. Screw the white piece up just until it's tight. And lock it in by twisting the blue piece up. We're going to pull this piece off. Open our needle. Put that on. Pull that off. So we started with um, 10,000 units here, and we only need. 0 0.4 mls. So in order to do that, we are just going to push this up until we get to 0 0.4. And since this is a little sticky, I'm just going to push it kind of slow. And then once I get close, just kind of turn it up. In order to make it accurate. Okay, so then we have that at zero point four. I'm just going to use the scoop method for the cap. Leave that sitting there while I draw up my um, next medication, which is the PPD um, tuber tuberculin units, and I need to draw up um, 0 0.1 ml. So I'm going to take this tuberculin syringe and pull my cap off. And then um, using the medication, I would draw it up to um, 0 0.1. And when I pulled it out, I would have been checking that the um, medication before I drew it up was the same as what was on the MAR and for the correct patient using my five rights in the correct dose. Um, the schedule is today so we can go ahead and give it with the 0900 meds because it has not been given yet today. And the route is going to be um, interdermal. So then once again um, I'm going to use the scoop method to put the cap on. And I would leave that there. And before I left the med room to go into the patient's room with these, I would use a piece of tape to label both of my medications, um, what they were and the dose, and um, do that uh, before I take them down the hallway to the patient's room. So once I got into the patient's room, I would go and check their wristband to confirm their 
identification with at least two identifiers. Um, I could ask them their first and last name, spelling of last name or date of birth. So we did confirm that this is William Smith. And once in the room, I am going to do my third check of the medication because I brought the MAR with me and just make sure I have everything correct. So here we have the heparin 4,000 units. Um, at 0900, we're going to give this sub Q to William Smith, check his date of birth. Um, once again, allergies codeine, but we're not going to give codeine. And okay, so before I give it, I am going to put on my clean gloves. Take out, put some gauze here in case I need it. And alcohol, the site where I'm going to give the injection. And I would explain to Mr. Smith um, the procedure and the medication the injections. Give the alcohol time to dry so we're not pushing any of that into the skin causing any burning. Then I'm gonna take the heparin and for the um, subcutaneous going to pull up the skin. Um, sometimes it may be necessary to kind of stretch out the skin but in this scenario we're gonna pinch it up. Then I'm going to inject it. I'm going to inject it at a 45 degree angle. And then push it in. Pull it out and release the skin. Once again, I would use the scoop method to put the cap back on which is running away from me at the moment. <laughs> Do it like that and then just come over and dispose of it in the Sharps container. Then I would move on to the... Oh, that cap was supposed to be on. If necessary, I would take um, the gauze for the subcutaneous shot and hold light pressure onto it and then place a band-aid over it. Then for the interdermal, also going to alcohol the skin and allow it time to dry. So once it was dry, then I would take my needle, pull the cap off, I'm gonna stretch, stretch the skin. I'm actually gonna go over here where it's not as wet. and go in at about a five degree angle, just right under the surface of the skin. And inject it. And hopefully we would be getting a wheel. Pull it out and release the skin and then we're not gonna place any pressure or band-aid over the interdermal. Once again, use the scoop method for the cap and dispose of in the Sharps container. Remove the gloves, throw away all the garbage, and use hand hygiene. And that is it.